This is Family on YouTube. It's Alexandra and Jenny, stars in The Next Step and hosts of this year's Stand Up Tour. You don't have to walk very far in downtown Toronto to realize you're in a bustling, world-class city. So it was nice to slow things down a little bit and head just east of the city to St. Brendan Catholic School in Scarborough for our second rally. When we arrived at the school, you could feel the excitement in the air. Nearly 600 kids brought their enthusiasm to the gym. Here you go! But we were there for one reason. From the entries received for the stand-up rallies, it was grade five student Maya Nuwiki that made a great case for St. Brendan. Maya told us all about how her school works together to stop bullying before it even starts and how important it is to treat other people the way you want to be treated. We believe that bullying is not okay. Our motto is hands, feet, and negative comments to yourself. Last year, we had student yard monitors. Their purpose was to make sure that nobody was getting bullied and that everyone was playing fairly. Don't stand by, stand up. She also said that no one ever deserves to feel lonely or left out, not even bullies. We thought that was an amazing answer. Once everyone had settled in, the students were treated to a brand new episode of Austin and Allie that focused specifically on bullying. Oh, here's another one about Trish. Trish stinks like rotten onions. They should call the place Stinking Beauty. Well, that wasn't very nice. And they spelled beauty wrong. The episode brought laughs to the audience, but also made them stop and think about the topic of bullying and the issues surrounding it. In a discussion led by PrevNet's Jesse Pandori, the students talked about what had happened in the show. It was great to see how well the students responded to the episode and the positive messages they took away from it. Up next was a special guest appearance by Jason Calero, a representative from the Toronto Argonauts Huddle Up Bullying Prevention Program. Jason shared his own experience with bullying and let the students of St. Brennan know how important it is to stand up when you see bullying happen, even if it's standing up for someone else. We thought Jason's story was so empowering, we decided to visit him and some of the Argos players at their practice field right here in Toronto. Some people might think that professional athletes don't have to deal with bullying, but Toronto Argonauts players Jonathan Hood and Matt Black had a lot of great advice to give. You have to understand uh, the, the power that you have inside yourself. You have to understand that you're worth. No matter what you're going through, no matter what people say to you, you're a special person. There's resources out there for you. You know, go to your help, find help, talk to people you trust, people that you love, you know, and find a way And that there's always brighter days and, you know, you can make it out. Yeah. Don't stand by, stand up. I think having Alex and I around encouraged the players to let loose because before we left, the guys showed us a couple of their signature end zone moves. Victory day! <laughs> Our time at St. Brennan School was fantastic. The students really want to make their community more inclusive, and having professional athletes like the Toronto Argonauts look up to is so inspiring.